I've got two wires here and I want to show you my approved means of connecting these two wires and this goes for any wires. This is just a demonstration. I am not sponsored by anyone in this video. Here I've got a wire nut. If you don't know what a wire nut is, this is something what it looks like. There are different brands, different types. But it's a tan twister wire nut. So you can just get these wires lined up just like this and twist them together like that. I don't like doing it this way. If you're going to use wire nuts, I prefer the pre-twist method, which you'll get pliers. These are mostly known as clines in the electrical field. You'll take these pliers and you'll just do what's called pre-twisting. And then you always trim the end, so you got a nice end right there. <clears throat> That's called pre-twisting. So now you just put the wire nut on there more or less just for insulation purposes. So that's one way. This is what I used to approve of. Um, I still, in a pinch, would approve of this. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm gonna show you a few cons with this method once I get done. Another way is, and these are becoming pretty popular. I don't personally like them. They are push-in style connectors where you can just push it in, just like that, and it holds. The problem with these are, this little thin strap in here, it's too thin, it's not a great connection. It's a lot like backstabbing outlets, which you don't wanna do. So let me show you why I don't approve of this method. I had, I had hardly any force at all on that, and it just popped right out. No electrical connection should be that loose. There is one place that I will allow these in my business, and that is in light fixtures. If you're making up to a light fixture or inside of a light fixture, it's fine. You don't have very high amperage with the LEDs, so it's fine on those. The other way, which is the one that I currently approve of, like I said, this is not a paid sponsorship. It is these Wago connectors right here. And they snap down on the wire. And even if you don't want to snap them down like that, you can also push them in just like that last one was. These in particular are rated for 32 amps. The difference between this one and that one, you're like, well, it's still a thin metal strap. That doesn't do much. Look at that, and it didn't come out. So I am pulling on two wires. You can pull them out, but that was about everything I had. So just to give you an idea of what kind of strength it takes to pull those out and how good a connection that is. The great thing about these are is you can undo them, reuse them multiple times. It's not like untwisting wires that are twisted together and trying to put another wire in there. All you have to do if you don't want, if you want more than two wires, all you have to do is just pull this one off they make three space, they make four, five, six space, so you can just get a bigger one, clamp those down and you're done. A lot, lot more efficient, saves a lot of time and money. These are a little bit more expensive than the wire nuts, but as far as usability and functionality, I think this is the way to go for the future. Way goes.